What if you could track your keyword rankings against competitors and get notified on autopilot? With this automation, you can do just that. The automation loops through the Google SERP data and then it intelligently filters the results, saves it and messages it to you. Let me show you how all this works and how you can get set up in just a few minutes. Okay, so the automation that I've just shown you is built on N8N. If you haven't heard of N8N, it is a, a drag and drop automation building tool that anyone can use. So the quickest way to get started with this is get yourself an N8N account and then head over to my online ninja community, go to the classroom, scroll down and get to this one here, N8N SEO ranking tracker. Just click on here and grab this JSON file. Then once you're in your N8N, you just go up to the top here, import the file. Okay, the first node in any workflow is going to be a trigger. In this workflow, it's just a manual trigger, but you could kick this off with Slack or it could be on a timed schedule, like once a day, once a week, whatever it is you like. The next node we've got here, this is where we set our domain. We want to track our competitors and our keyword. So if I just open this one up, we can see we've got the website, keyword and competitors. Now I can execute this and we can see the data. Really what we're getting here is just putting the data into a JSON object, which can be then passed on to our next node in a structured format. Okay, so the next node in our workflow is the loop over items. The way I have this set up, this node is actually redundant in many ways because we're only analyzing one keyword. But if you wanted to set it up to analyze multiple keywords, it will loop through and get the results for each keyword until it's finished and then move on to the next step. For now, it's really just passing through that one keyword, which was web hosting. So now we can jump over into the next node, which is a HTTP request. Let's just open it up. This node here, it's calling serpa.dev, and this is where it gets the Google data from. Serpa.dev, it's a website that you can access and get two and a half thousand credits totally free. And if we go into the dashboard, you can see I've been using it a bit. This is a great tool to get Google search data, not only for this type of automation, but for lots of other SEO type automations. Now, if we go back over into N8N to get this working, basically we have to put this URL in. It's going to be a generic type credential and we set up a custom auth and I give it a name. We are sending across headers and it has to be in this format. We have this x-api-key and we also have content type JSON. Next, we have send body. Now, this is the format that we need to have in the send body. And basically it's going to pass on the keyword. Now I can execute this so you can see the data coming out. There are 100 results for our keyword web hosting. Next, we have a Google Sheets node. And the reason we're doing that is to record the data that's coming out of this HTTP request. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is hook up your Google Sheets account, and then we just map in the data that we want to record. So we do need a unique ID for each row, and then we get keywords, website, competitors, related keywords, People also ask, which there was no data when we ran this, and then the organic results. Then we split the data out. So if I go into related search data, you can see here that these are related search queries. So web hosting free, web hosting services, best web hosting. I think you get the picture. So we can capture that data and we can save it in our spreadsheet. People also ask, now this one's empty. It doesn't always appear in search results. And it also then doesn't appear in the data we get through serpa.dev. We capture it anyway, because if a particular keyword does generate it, we can record it. The next one is the actual organic search results. There's a hundred of them here. Won't go through them. Once that's done, it goes up to this filter. In the filter, the reason we're using that is what we want to do is we want to search for the domain that we're we're tracking. So if our domain is digitalocean.com, that's where, what we want to get the results for in the, in the hundred search results. And then we also want to filter on the results for our competitors. And then we can see where we're ranking versus our competitors. And this is the structure of the filter. So I can execute this one. And what you can see here is out of the hundred results that came back zero to 99, it kept six and it got rid of 93 of them. Once we get those results, we want to sort them. So sorting them ascending, then we aggregate them. So I'm going to hit execute on the aggregate. Now, once we executed this one, 
it saves another Google Sheet. It actually just updates the, the ranking data into a, into a column, and then we get the Telegram. So if I run this one, we should get a Telegram notification that we can take a look at. And here you go. We've just got the Telegram. So it comes back and says rankings for keyword web hosting. We've got all our competitors listed, and you can see they're outperforming us in terms of our target one we want to track, which is digitalocean.com, which is ranking at 95. Okay, so to get your Telegram message every day or every week, we're just going to make one minor change to this workflow. We're going to delete the first node, and we're going to add a new one, a schedule trigger, go back to the canvas, and we're just going to hook that onto here, open it up, and then we might have this run every seven days, 1 p.m. There we go. So that's how you would automate it, and then you just activate it. So this is the Google Sheet that's recording the data every time the automation runs. And so you've got it there for reference, but you can also do some cool stuff with it. So let me show you. So first, I'm just going to copy the data, and then we're going to take it over to Claude. Basic prompt here, create a visualization of the SERP data. And so using Claude, this is the kind of dashboard that you can expect to get back. And the more data you can collect every day, every week, every month, you're going to get much more granular insights into what's going on for your target keyword. For example, down here, we've got this search end result page insights. And when you look at here, the, the strategy here, it appears twice. So they've got their main page, but they've also got this free hosting offer page that's coming in at number 17. So it's worth taking a look at the analysis that you can get from a tool like Claude to better understand what you might need to do to outrank your competitor. Now, if you haven't already checked out Online Ninja already, click the first link in the description and you'll get here and you can see everything that's on offer. And just remember, if you want a one-click start with the N8N automation that I've just taken you through, just head here, click on this, grab the file, and you are on your way. If you've got any questions about this video, drop them in the comment. I hope you've got some value. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one or over in the community.